enough for now. <laughs> Welcome back to Rex Media Rex and another week's vlog. It is Monday today and um, yeah, mum's on her way up and she's coming over for the day, which would be really nice to see somebody and talk to a real life human for the day. And I think we're just gonna sort some stuff out with the flat. Dad has managed to fix my hair straighteners, which is like the best thing in the world. And we've had some interesting posts today, so let me show you what I've got. So we have had a very nice little parcel from a company called Pause and Chill, who do little dog boxes and they're luxury dog boxes, which is really nice. So all the treats in there are very, very good for your doggy tummy, all the Pooch and Moot stuff, all the Pooch and Mutt stuff, and little um, chew toys. He's already had a little antler for puppies, specifically for puppies, which he always tries and steals Archie's antlers, but they're not um, okay for his puppy teeth. So he's got a little puppy one, he's run off with it somewhere, and he's also got a new collar. Toby, come and show us your new collar. Look at this. Oh, it's very, I can't see. Come here, sit still. He's been mad this morning. Sit down, Toby, sit. Good boy. Look at that. It's green. And because you're orange, it goes very, very well. I don't have a treat, I'm sorry. Should we show the internet your new trick? Lie down. Good boy, even with a toy in the way. Very good, very good. He also learnt poor as well. I don't know where he's learnt that from. I think he must have seen Archie doing it. So yeah, that is a very nice parcel. Thank you very much. So if you're looking for like a luxury um, kind of dog box, then Paws and Chill. They're on Instagram. They contacted us on Instagram, which is very, very cute. So thanks very much, guys. Love that. You look adorable in that collar, mister. And you know it. <laughs> well, I now have a very clean, very tidy house. Uh, as mum came and mopped all my floors for me, I did some hoovering and uh, yeah, we went to the supermarket, did some food shopping. She treated me to a new era because mine is absolutely more mine broke and then I've been borrowing Chris's for ages but it's just not big enough for washing because I tend to only do one a week to save water. Um, but yeah, she bought me a brand new era which is amazing. It's got wheels. I should not be that excited about an era with wheels. Um, but it's really tall so I can put it outside of my courtyard because also my washing has been stinking. Did I say that in last week's vlog? I don't know. I haven't started editing it yet. Um, my washing has been stinking so she bought me some stuff to clean my washing machine with and uh, then we thought so happy he's got that antler to chew on especially when he brings it in here on the wooden floor <sighs> um, but yeah my washing's been stinking so she bought me some washing uh, machine cleaner and then this right come here go in <laughs> I'm not going to take it off you I just want you to go in the living room where it's quiet um yeah, so the air is really tall, so it can go outside in the courtyard and hopefully get some fresh air to it and it'll make my washing smell nice. That was a really long, complicated story about something incredibly, bo incredibly boring. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it's just been really nice to have someone here. I've, I, don't, I think I've touched on it in previous vlogs, but I'm really feeling quite lonely at the moment. Um, and I'm not really feeling very great, as in like, I've just been feeling quite blue recently. I don't think I've mentioned it. Uh, in detail in the vlogs, so I don't know, I just was just kind of hoping it would sort itself out but it's been a couple of weeks and it's still sort of hanging around um, and I don't really know why, it's one of those where I'm kind of, I can't seem to shake it, I'm doing all my usual um, things that I need to do to get out of it but really struggling at the moment so it's just been nice to have some company today, somebody to talk to, I've got the biggest spot on my chin there, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's just been really nice. So thank you to mum. Also picked up some really nice like outdoor fairy lights um, with a little solar panel which I've shoved in my little bush there. <laughs> so um, hopefully, not probably not tonight. It won't be enough sun, but maybe tomorrow they might light up in the evening, which I thought was really nice. Could do with another pair actually, just to finish it off here. But actually, they looked really pretty and um, brightened up the courtyard a little bit. I also saw some really nice um, fake uh, topiary, like you know, like the the shaved topiary, you know, the things that like like box topiary essentially. But they were fake and they were in the range, but we couldn't see how much they were, and they looked lovely. And I just think that they would look so nice, just like just there on the ins on the outside of the the courtyard, just either side of the door. Or like going up going up that way a little bit just needs a few more bits of greenery I think but things that you don't need to keep alive are an extra bonus I might go back in and see how much they are and maybe 
treat myself to those in a couple of weeks time. <laughs> He's really annoying me with those. move these up here. <laughs> Mum always buys flowers, I never buy flowers because I don't know, I just, I don't know, they're not expensive but I just think oh, I don't know if it's, if I've got the spare money to justify three, four quid on a bunch of flowers but they really do brighten up your world don't they? Thank you Mum. Can't even begin to tell you how happy this era is making me. This is so sad, but it's awesome. It's from Dunhelm, if anybody wants to know. Hey team, so it is about 10 past nine in the evening and I'm just currently editing the weekly vlog because I spent time with mum today instead of doing my work. So I thought I'd swap my day around, work in the evening and have some time with an actual family human in the day. And I'm so glad I did it. I'm actually quite enjoying doing the vlog tonight and Toby's pretty good, he's sort of parked himself down there and he's, sleeping quite nicely i gave him that chew from um the box that we got delivered earlier like the hedgehog thing he's kept him busy for ages and he's only just tiny made a tiny dent in it so i'm going to get him a few more of those um because they keep him nice and quiet but yeah sorry today's been a bit boring i just kind of wanted to spend time with mom and not really film and sort of catch up and to be fair we were mopping the floor and walking around sainsbury's so there wasn't much to film you didn't miss much but yeah hopefully tomorrow will be a bit more exciting i'm actually having a day off tomorrow um just because I feel like I need it and I've got some exciting things going on so I shall tell you more about it in the morning but for now I've got to crack on to get this done ready for you guys tomorrow at 7. I know this is a really weird thing to have for breakfast but it's bruschetta toast which is <laughs> just butter toast with cherry tomatoes, spring onion, garlic and pesto but I just love bruschetta and I just kind of wanted it for breakfast. Is that weird? Has anyone else done this? No, just me. Good morning everybody, oh my god, look at my hair. This is from when it got wet on Saturday, mini golf, it needs washing today. And also my spot is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So happy Tuesday. <laughs> um, just another day of the week. I was gonna have a complete day off today actually. Um, and just have a bit of a pamper day ahead of um, Miss Saigon later. Well technically that's work, but it's not really work is it because i get to go to the theater and drink wine and have a nice date night with my boyfriend so um yeah i was gonna have like a proper pampery day but i didn't finish editing the weekly vlog until like 11 pm last night so i just need to upload that this morning and uh, write the blog post that goes along with it do all the analytics that goes along with it um and now i'm pretty much free i'm gonna do my emails but apart from that pretty much free which is nice um yeah so at 1 p.m. I have a pedicure. I don't know if I already told you this. I'll cut it out if I have. <laughs> End here. At 1 p.m. I've got a pedicure um, with some gift factor that somebody bought me and I've still got a few left. So I thought I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have a bit of a pamper because my feet are still wrecked from that charity walk, believe it or not. So they really do need a bit of TLC. Uh, then I need to pop to pets at home, get some more urine destroyer for the carpet. Um, he's doing really well actually with the toilet training stuff like really really well sorry that's way too close when I look like this in this morning um yeah he's doing really really well it's just there's still just a few tiny little mistakes um and of course the morning wee which we can't can't be helped because he hasn't got a bladder big enough to hold for seven hours where is he always worries me when he goes quiet like a toddler what are you doing oh yeah he's somewhere he shouldn't be hmm and you know he's somewhere he shouldn't be because you Gooch out really quickly and then I need to wash my hair do some of this and yeah going out for dinner with Chris before the theatre which would be really nice somebody's recommended a brand new uh, Chinese place which is literally right by the Hippodrome very very handy and also quite apt I suppose having Asian food before Miss Saigon uh, and then yeah it's just a night at the theatre and it's we've been told to come red carpet ready so get to dress up and feel all pretty and yeah it'd be really nice because I get to show Chris kind of like part of what I do um which is nice to like kind of have him involved and see the genius at work <laughs> i'm excited i've got the biggest sweet potatoes in the history of the world that's half that's the other half 
it's huge but anyway I'm just having prawns on sweet potato with a little bit of mayonnaise and tomato sauce and salad for my lunch it's so nice to be having real food again and this is delicious I did this when I um did that slimming world post where I went slimming world for a week or two weeks can't remember um and this is one of the recipes that they use and I just I've loved it ever since my tummy is kind of going, what are you doing to me though? Because I've just been eating rubbish food and not a lot of food for like the past couple of weeks because my fridge has been empty. And now I've got actual food and lots of it. It's like, what's going on? What is going on? I need to do another what I eat in a week video for you guys. Um, there was just no point me doing it last week because it was just pretty much plain pasta and things out of the freezer. Um, but I will do. I will, I'll put that on the list. We should get cracking with that. Even though it makes it very difficult when you have a puppy that does this. No. Right, I'm going out the room. So I've just pulled up for my uh, pedicure appointment, but there's somebody else in before me and they're blocking the drive, so I'm just having to wait until they come out so we can swap cars. Um, but it absolutely started to pelt it down, like torrential fat rain. <laughs> so I just messaged Lucy, I'm like, I hope you're not out in this, because this is horrendous. She's like, out in what? What do you mean? Where are you? Is it coming? And then like a voice note about two minutes later go, it started, oh my God, I haven't got my raincoat. <laughs> But like I'm just giving her a little bit of weather pre-warning. That is so funny. Sorry Lucy, but that's really true. <laughs> so I'm obviously Miss Saigon tonight and I'm wearing my favourite, favourite dress. It's from Forever 21. I got it last year. It's gone a bit manky in the wash, but I think it makes my boobs look great. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and I also did a thing with my hair, which I've never done before. It's like a little half top knot. Well done, good boy. Um, it's like a little half top knot thing, look. Who you see? And I really like it. I don't know how I did it. I did it first time and I've just secured it with two bobby pins. So please don't ask for tutorial because I don't think I'll be able to pull it off again. I'm really proud, so I'm just going to run with it. <laughs> then we're going out for dinner and then the theatre. And I'm really excited. I can't bloody wait. I've wanted to see Miss Saigon for absolutely years. It's on tour again. It's at the Hippodrome till the end of September. And I'm just really looking, for, looking forward to date night. I can't wait. <laughs> So from Hippodrome are going all out for Miss Saigon. We're just having our Chinese food and outside there's a giant Chinese dragon wandering around with a big drummer. I'm so excited for this show, I cannot even tell you. Oh, there's a man doing like... Doing like... I think you would do, what's it called? Tai Chi. to the British summer it looks like I've just stepped into a uh, shower fully clothed but I haven't this is just the rain this is the weather today home showered dry shampoo bit of slap comfy clothes feeling a bit better so today I'm obviously Rosie which is very exciting we're just I'm just heading up to see her new house and her kittens and we're just gonna sit and have some cake and coffee and catch up really much needed and then this afternoon Toby's going to the groom room at Pets at Home for his very first groom he's going for a puppy groom which is where they um, kind of get them used to having baths and the, gr the clippers and everything and getting their toenails done even though they're not having necessarily having all of it done because he doesn't obviously need a haircut at the moment but she's getting them used to everything which is I think is really really great that they do that so yeah so it's a bit of a higgledy piggledy day um but feeling a bit better today I'm, I'm feeling a bit crap in my own mind if I'm completely honest you can probably tell um I'm having a really tough time of it at the moment like really tough with mental health anxiety and a touch of depression if I'm completely honest everything is building up there's a lot of stress um, work is slow. I'm, I'm telling you all this now in confidence that you guys are going to be the team XX that I know you are and nobody's going to throw it back in my face, no one's going to be mean because um, this is serious stuff. Like, the business is slow. Like, I'm not earning enough money at the moment and it's stressful. Any small business owner, anyone who's self-employed has the stress from now and again. So, um, yeah. Things, things are tight, things are difficult, work is slow. It's the time of year for bloggers. I've spoken to a few of my other blogging friends that are saying the same thing. It's the time of year, but it doesn't make it any easier. And yeah, I'm just, I'm struggling a little bit. So even sort of getting out of bed and getting in the shower, some days is really difficult. So 
I'm powering through. Uh, Chris is coming around for dinner, so I have decided to make a new recipe. I'm gonna make a slow cooker, kind of like lamb tagine kind of thing. Um, it seems pretty simple, and I'm not gonna to lie to you, I have got a packet mix, because I was not gonna traipse around and look for all the herbs and spices and spend a fortune on those, and that was 50p, so I thought, sod it. <laughs> Um, but obviously it would be better with the full spices and in an actual tagine, not in a slow cooker, but you know, that's life. So I'm shoving all this in a slow cooker um, and leaving it for eight hours, basically. If I remember, I'll leave the link. If it's any good, I'll leave the link to the recipe down below. It's just off the uh, BBC Good Food website, but cooking makes me feel good. So um, I thought I would cook, <laughs> sort of. If you can call slow cooker cooking, cooking. Hello monster, can I have it then? Toby, where's your ball? Go get it. Go get it, where's your ball? Go get it. No, I'm not coming to get it. Oh, but it's so far away. <laughs> Come on then, inside. Rosie said that he seemed so much, he looks so much smaller than he seems on the vlog. So I don't know if he looks really big on the vlogs, but he's still quite tiny, even though he's double the size of what he was before. I did a before and after picture of him next to the same toy and I put them together and he used to be the same size as the toy. And now the toy is the same size as his head. So he has grown so much. Oh, ice cream. It's too cold for ice cream today. You're doing very well. <laughs> well, somebody looks great after their little groom. <laughs> Worries me that you can get up on the sofa on your own now. You look fantastic, little man, and you smell great. You did not like the dryer, did you? <laughs> you didn't like the dryer at all, but that's what we did it for, to get you used to it. So hopefully, in the future, you'll be alright with it. They were very kind. And they trimmed your nails as well, which is a godsend because look at my arms. <laughs> so hopefully you'll scratch us a bit less. I think it's a really good idea, that puppy groom. Well done, Pat's at home, and thank you very much. I'll leave all the information down below. It's only in certain stores, so um, yeah. But there was a gorgeous, gorgeous um, show type Cocker Spaniel who was just having its hair cut and looking very, very calm on the table whilst he was there whimpering away because he didn't like the sound of the hairdryer. <laughs> I've tried to film this about four times now and every single time I rant on for about eight minutes and I lose my train of thought so I just kind of want to get this out um it's actually a week no shit two weeks shit two weeks since I last filmed um I've not been very well I've had a bit of a mental breakdown if I'm completely honest um I feel like for the past month or so my anxiety has just been sky high and I've been so stressed, so worried, so anxious, so paranoid about everything for a while and two weeks ago it all just kind of came to a head and my body and my brain just said nope, can't do any more and I had uh, an anxiety attack or a panic attack, I don't know, I've never, I've never experienced this before and I blacked out, it was almost like my brain just went <laughs> can't handle it, shut down. And I found myself going from this constant state of stress, anxiety and worry into just like this pit of what I can only describe as depression. Um, and it's been horrendous for the past two weeks. I've felt, some days I've just been so overwhelmed with emotion that I haven't been able to cope, crying at everything, not being able to eat, just an emotional mess like all the emotions in my body are just spilling out of me and then other days I've just felt nothing <laughs> and I haven't been able to get out of bed I haven't been able to shower I haven't fed myself and I've been pretty much living at Chris's house for the past two weeks um, he's been amazing but it's, it's really taken its toll on me, on him, on friendships, on everything. And I haven't been able to film. I just, I can barely even manage to brush my teeth some days. I'm laughing about it because it's just, it's 
it's so ridiculous like some days you're literally sat there and it's like you're not you're you're looking at yourself and you just want to shake yourself and you're like come on what are you well, you've got no reason to be depressed you've got no reason to feel this way and that's what makes it a million times worse <laughs> i've not been very well so i haven't been able to film um i've been putting out a little bits of content here and there the the five easy dinners i hope you like that video if you haven't seen it yet go check it out um i quite like it i'm working on the queensland vlog it's a mammoth task um and i wrote something on my blog the other day but just i just wrote i just sat down and i wrote and i like what came out and you guys have been incredible about that blog post and shared it and engaged with it and it was amazing and it felt good um so i've been ticking along but i just haven't felt stable enough i haven't felt whole enough to be able to give a part of me away for these vlogs that i do every week uh because they do take that toll you know i i love i love doing them but they do take quite a bit out of you sharing that much of yourself and when you're not even feeling like yourself at all it doesn't really feel like there's a lot to share so i'm really sorry for the unannounced break and i'm sorry if things don't get back to normal for the next few weeks i'm just trying to film as and when i feel like i'm able to um and just trying to get myself back to normal i've been chatting to the guys in my patreon team um we have a little Facebook group and we have a Snapchat account and I've just been chatting to people one on one in there and sort of getting feedback on these things and they've really been helping so thank you guys if you're watching to help me be kinder to myself because I do put a lot of pressure on myself for these things I mean it's my job um, but if this was if I was doing a normal job I would be off sick right now um so i guess what i'm trying to say if there's anybody that sat out there hating me for this because i haven't put videos out just please be aware that there is a person that is going through some serious stuff right now and yes dance monkey dance it's your job your decision but if you're not well you're not well i wouldn't be sat in my office right now if I had a nine to five job. So this is my office and this is me off sick. Um, but thank you so much for everybody who's been really supportive on Twitter and Instagram. I just, anyway, I just wanted to explain a little bit. I know I don't have to explain myself, but I wanted to explain where I've been and why things are, might be a bit higgledy piggledy, but I'm just gonna be filming as and when I feel like I'm able to and just trying to get back to normal life. I've been doing bugger all <laughs> for the last two weeks. Um, as much as I would have liked. And then yesterday I went to V Festival, which was pretty awesome with my friend Jo. Uh, we got rained on, I still haven't had a chance to wash my hair, and I think I've still got glitter all over my face. And I have got the most horrendous cold. I came down with this on, I think like Saturday evening, I started to feel really, really crap. And then yesterday wasn't great, and I think standing in the rain and the cold <coughs> in my dress and wellies, just didn't do me any favors so yeah that's a bit crappy but here we go 
Um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I know it's been a bit higgledy-piggledy. I'm going to put it together today for you so it goes up tomorrow. I hope you like it. Um, I think I'm going to have another week just sort of taking a step back and working on some of the content. Because I've had some really cool jobs come through, which is great. Uh, so hopefully you guys won't need to moan, uh, listen to me moan about money anymore. Because um, I've had some they're just really fun jobs that are coming through. I shall explain as they go on. One of them includes this which is a pit pat, um, which is a, like a little Fitbit for your dog. So Toby's gonna be involved in one of them. It's a really clever idea. Um, and the other one includes the Nottingham, the Notting Hill Food Festival next week. And I've got some clothes come through from French Connection as well. So I'll be able to do a little outfit fit picture for you, for you guys, because I know you like them. And I really got into my outfit photography when I was in Australia. If you read the blog post, um, you'll see like the different outfit pictures that I got there. If you haven't read it yet, go read it. Um, I'm also working on the vlog. I am. It's going to come. It's just so huge. And I'm still waiting on like the drone footage from one of the guys that I was there with. But I genuinely think I'm going to have to give up on that and just kind of go without it because I don't think he's going to send it over. Um, if you're watching, Ryan, send stuff over. But yeah, that's pretty much life. So I think I'm just going to keep chilling and working on this other content for you instead. Um, it's really helping me sort of rebuild, not having, not necessarily the pressure, but just being able to rebuild on my own and um, on my own time and turns. I explained all this yesterday. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys are going to understand that and thank you very much for being so kind and gentle. Sorry, I just got interrupted at the door when I was halfway through that. I've just been sent the most amazing gift and I had to show you because do you remember this bracelet that I had ages ago? This Monica Vineda, Vinadar, I never know how you say it. This is my absolute favourite. I have the necklace that I got when uh, Wilson passed away and this was a bracelet that... He who no, will not be named bought me um, one year and it said be proud on it and I absolutely loved it. Um, but after we broke up I felt like I just couldn't wear the bracelet anymore and I was so upset. Not because of like the meaning behind the bracelet but just because I absolutely loved this bracelet and I had to took it away because uh, it was personalised anyway so nobody else would have really wanted it. But I was really sad because I haven't been able to wear this bracelet. And I was chatting to somebody on Twitter the other day, they said they really wanted a Monica Vinadar bracelet, Vinadar, so how do, you, how do you pronounce it? Let me know in the comments, I don't know. Um, and I was like, oh, me too, I really miss mine, I had to throw mine away. She was like, oh, I would have had it, and I was like, you don't want it, bad juju, you just don't want it. And then they got in touch with me, and they said, we saw your tweet, and we really would like to send you a replacement bracelet. And I cried, <laughs> because... It, it was just my favourite, favourite bracelet and I really, really missed it. It kind of became a bit of a good look charm for me and I've kind of always, I used to wear it every single time I went on a blogging um, event or anything and I just used to feel really, I feel really lost without it. Anyway, they've sent me a new one and I don't know if you'll be able to see, I'll try and zoom in one second. Can you see? So we, I was like, I can't have the same thing on it because it just reminds me of things. So they were like, well think of a new one. So I just had the word breathe and a little lotus flower symbol there engraved on it and then you can engrave the toggle as well um, so the little toggle on one side it's not going to focus um, on there it just says XAX and you can have the back engraved but I didn't want too much on there so yeah I absolutely love this guys thank you so much and this has come just at the most perfect time for me uh, so I'm going to cut off my V Festival um, band and stick this on instead. It's amazing. This is the rose gold and mink um, colour friendship bracelet from them. This has made my day and what a wonderful note to end the vlog on. Thank you so much guys. Um, yeah, wow, amazing. And everybody else? And for everybody watching, I just want to say a huge thank you for watching and for bearing with me. And yeah. I shall see you in a couple of weeks time. Bye. I need my pants. Cleaning up dog poo off a carpet with a spoon. I could keep my dream alive for a little bit longer and I won't go bankrupt or get evicted. Yay.